Fellow Nigerians, congratulations on the new golden status of the, our first lady, Mrs. Tunumbu. We thank God. We congratulate you, ma'am. So the only of Ife, His Imperial Majesty, Kabiesi, unveiled golden status of the first lady. And not only that, he also commissioned about 2.7 kilometer roadway in name after Ramplos Pavilion and Hostel inside of Bafemi Awolowo University for Ile Ife. And uh, we thank God because few weeks ago, Kabiesi been the best tell Nigerians, they tell us, say, make we day patient with Tinubu, say, say, he no say hardship day, things no daisy. So he good, say, few weeks later, the Kabiesi don't unveil golden status of the first lady. But not be the first time be this. In fact, June 12th this year, for Abuja Eagle Square, National Art Theater unveiled the biggest hand painting in Africa of President Tinubu. During the first democracy day of Tinubu administration, no, not be portrait of maybe Abiola or Awolo or no. The biggest portrait of in Africa of President Tinubu was unveiled. So obviously, there is an obsession with national or with monuments for the first family or public, uh, politicians. And not be there, the thing finish. In fact, the first lady donates one billion naira from, for her, from herself to OAU. Say, make the school no fine as it be before for their horticultural program and all. Then, first lady also tell KBC and others, say, not be her husband be the cause of Nigerian problem. Say, make Nigerians, they patient, the husband, they try. So, KBC, I want to thank you. We thank you, say, it is good that now you, it is you that unveil the golden status of the first lady. Because you are also our father. You will be, you are the custodian of authority, traditional authority and culture. So we too will be your children. So the only thing we want to ask that Baba is that as this unveiling of golden status, they go on, it will be good if you, they unveil side by side with the achievements of the president and the administration. So that as we, they unveil the golden status, we go also, they unveil golden status of achievement of the president and the family in office so that the thing go day side by side and we go know the condition of the life of the people where they if they get golden status maybe nigerians are also living a golden life under their uh, leadership kbc and then again madam conto first lady conto say that not be her husband be the cause of nigeria problem we know not true nigeria don't spoil even before we not come but the question be say as Nigeria are no good before you come, the important question go be waiting you they do as you know say the country no good. After all, now your husband even bring Buhari, even campaign say that he want to continue from where Buhari stop. So what have you been doing to make the bad situation where you meet make it become good? So let me remind you of just a few action and step we will not don't take to make things good. As you come into office, the first declaration your husband make is a subsidy regime is gone. And then they float a dollar too. I mean, Naira. Today, fuel don't reach 1,000 something. Dollar don't pass 1,005. Inside budget, as we they talk today, they don't already buy new presidential jet. Where president, they fly, they battle. Inside that 2023 supplementary budget, the budget 1.5 billion for to buy bulletproof motto for office of first lady. Your office, ma. Which, by the way, is not a constitutionally recognized office. Oh. They don't already budget 20 something billion where they use build house, new house for vice president. Five billion to buy presidential yacht. They budget four billion to renovate Dodan Barak's house of president where president they even hardly go there. Three billion to renovate the one for vice president for Dodan Barak. Among many other expenditure, this one are just a few. Then according to punch reports, within the last three months, Nigeria don't spend 701 million for overseas traveling of you, the first lady. So within three months, Nigeria don't spend 701 million to, for traveling of first lady. That is outside other members of first family, not to talk of other political appointees or even his Excellency President, where, by the way, right now, the UK, on vacation. So we feel calculate them to know where it will be at the end of four years. So it go good any time where since nobody will not cause the problem. Any time with the unveil this achievement, it go there side by side with the achievement of the administration. May we know where we na meet people life and where they life day to day. Where you meet fuel, where fuel day. Where you meet economy, where economy day. So that the thing go balance because after all, to unveil status na normal thing. Even for America, if you go to Mount Rushmore, you go see the heads of president there. But it must be commensurate with the achievements of each administration so that it go balance. 
Make Nigerian self they see say good golden status day, golden lifestyle self day. So KBSC, we thank you. And after all, not be the first time be this where we say that they unveil status for Nigeria. 2017 for Imo State, former Imo State Governor Rocha Sokorocha unveiled bronze status of Jacob Zuma, former South Africa president. He named road after Ram, he gave him chief tenancy title. That bronze status cost Imo State taxpayer money about 520 million. The time where Rocha has built that status, even they owe retirees pensions and gratuity for Imo State. The time where they, they give Jacob Zuma that title, one Nigerian girl, Jalil Yomoyele, was killed of xenophobic attack for South Africa, among other Nigerians. In fact, Jacob Zuma, they stand trial for corruption for his own country, for South Africa. But for Nigeria, a Nigerian governor took taxpayer money and built a bronze status for a president who is standing corruption in his own country. Nigerian politicians, una, they do well. Una, they do this one. We, we hail D. So, una, go continue to tell us, make we day patient, make we understand. We will be understanding, girlfriend. Any had a relationship, they violence, we go, they understand. We are the gifts that continuous giving. You are the ones who will live in luxury and affluence. Continue to enjoy. Continue to ask us to make sacrifice. We go make sacrifice. Shebina will be sacrificial lamb. Not be lamb, they, they go continue to make the sacrifice for the owner. So we thank Una. As Nigerians, they so. First lady, they give one billion of her own money to federal university. Imagine US president wife go out, go talk, say, I donate from my personal capacity one billion dollar to a, a an, an institution of the any how way it be nigerians a day up to us the day where we don't tire for this enslavement the day where we don't tire for this slavery slavery lifestyle no matter how long oppression over a people may have lasted when a majority of them together say enough it will be enough but until then make we continue to they celebrate the golden status and other monuments abi with the bad in our life me, this country, now my own. Nobody go pursue me. Nobody will kill me in this Nigeria. It is not a crime to demand for good governance. If anybody thinks that those of us calling for Nigeria to be better, now we be the enemy, then shame on you. If you know say what you they do, they good. The Lord be with you. But if your conscience tell you that what you are doing is bad and the people are suffering, then you should be ashamed of yourself because it is a shame of a leader that people are suffering and in pain and leaders are living in luxury and living like kings and monarchs. May God help Nigerians and may Nigerians help ourselves to release ourselves from this slavery and bondage where we did so. Congratulations on your golden status. Hello guys, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. You're welcome to this Facebook page and YouTube channel. Guys, wonder shall never end. I don't have much to say on this video, but it's so annoying to see that the people we call leaders, they are not leading us right in Nigeria. Okay, look at Oni Ofife. He told Nigerians that, oh, you guys need to calm down. And as you can see, Bola Ahmed, if Tinibu is doing something, he's working fine, he's doing, you know, he's working hard to make the economic balance in the country. But what did you guys just see now? The man unveiled golden statue of the select president first lady's wife. So what will you tell to yourself now? See, it's high time Nigerians come outside and do the right thing. Everybody sitting down, folding their hands, keeping quiet. We're not help at all. We're not help because these people, they are ready to destroy Nigeria. Okay, just look at the money this government are spending. We are talking about billions. For just one year plus in office, look at billions that these people have spent. Look at billions that they have spent. Then you see some some of these Yoruba will still come outside and be saying, "Eh, hey, Bella, I met if you didn't is on a bra on a way so." We could not see the truth. We not come outside. We could not talk the truth. This government, they are not see. They don't send anybody to that country. They are just there for their selfish interest, their self and their family. Just look at the billion that they are spending. Bella, I met if you didn't wife. According to the news, oh. Like what we heard, that woman has spent 700 something million for just three weeks all a day. Bro, do you know how much is 700 something million that these people spent anyhow in Nigeria? Tell me, how can we continue like this for Christ's sake? How can we continue like this for Christ's sake? Nigerians, 
keeping quiet will not help. Oh. I'm telling you guys the plain truth. I saw a video. VDM said, yeah, what he said he want to do is right. No problem. But that is the job of the government. The government are supposed to take responsibility of what VDM is about to do. You know, destroying government school, you know, uh, renovating it, putting new teachers, you know, want to renovate all those things. Okay, he said they want to do it, no problem. But that is the job of the government. That is the job of the government. Because the government failed. It is because the government fail. That's why you see individual they're not taking it, you know, upon yourself to fix all these things. But we are living in pain in that country. We all need to speak out and do things right. We cannot continue like this. It's getting too much. It's getting too much. Nigerians wake up. On your fifa, as you unveil. The select president Bola met if Tinubu wife, golden statue. Please see unveil the good that Bola met if Tinubu has done in Nigeria. You cannot unveil the golden statue and Bola met if Tinubu is condemning the country. It's not making any sense at all. So you need to unveil the good of Bola met if Tinubu alongside with the golden statue. So we say, oh, this government they are trying. It's good you unveil their statue. Since they are. So show it to us. We want to see what this government are doing. You cannot unveil someone's statue when the country is burning. Paula Ahmed, if Tinubu is in UK retrieving treatments, and you guys are deceiving the citizens. No go better for all of them. I'm the common white girl, our traditional ruler, our politicians, so all of them. What you do for that country? What you want to make that country better? God go ask you one after the other. Guys, I go hand this video coming pace. Please to share this video as you all do so. God bless you. See you guys for my next video. Stay safe, guys, and bye bye.